So let's talk about the REST operator. I'm going to show you how we used to solve some type of issues in JavaScript in the, in the old times, right? Um, so imagine that we got a function called get scores, right? So pretty much what I want to see, or instead of get scores, I want to see get, get total score, right? So I want to call that function get total score. So I want to see all your scores, right? So imagine that this is all the scores of all your evaluations. So I want to get the total, right? So how will you do it without using REST operator? How can we access? Because at the moment we got five arguments, but we could have three, seven, 10, 20. We don't know how many arguments my get total score function will receive. Which four? Which four? Which four loop. Four loop. Okay. Four what? I think, I think it's a, it's a arguments. Arguments. You cannot use four. Well, maybe you can, but it's not that easy because you don't know how many arguments. This is not an array. If it could be an array, that could be easy, right? But it's not an array. It's just a comma separated list of arguments. We got five arguments, right? So Norbert is right. There is something uh, tricky with JavaScript, which is there is something called arguments, right? Arguments like that. This is a reserved word. So when you run, arg when you display the arguments, you see, this is like an array, you see, but it's based on what uh, Albert just explained. This is not an array. It looks like an array. It's very similar to an array, but it's not an array. Because of that, let's imagine we think this is an array. So if we assume this is an array, the way to, to calculate the total, how would you do it? Well, what? Probably reduce. Reduce. Right. What? Reduce. reduce what? Total. Total. Value. And then what? Total plus value. Total plus value. Easy, right? Plus. Do we need to do that? Mm. Depends. Depends on what? <laughs> do we need? Yes or no? No. no. Not, Not necessarily. Thank you. Cool. So. This is the way we'll solve the problem if arguments was a proper uh, array. But if we run the example, boom, arguments reduce is not a function. I say, wait a minute. Yeah. It is a function. It is an array, right? Arguments is an array. Let, let me try again. Arguments. Yeah, it's an array. But it's not an array. It looks like an array, but it's not an array. For this kind of a scenario where something looks like an array, so what if it is there is a array or something like that? Um, how, how can we check if it's array or not? So, type of, or if we just give a type of, uh, right. Uh, so I don't know if it's an array or not, but to make sure that I'm playing with arrays, that's why we can do. The command that uh, uh, Albert explained, array dot from. So when we do that, look, now we got a pure array. It, this is clearly an array, right? So, yeah. You see the differences? Yeah. Look, that's the, at the, at the left hand side, you got the first one, which looks like an array, but on the right hand side, we got a pure array. Right? So, okay, fair enough. Once we know that this is an array, right? So we can just change this a bit. And it gives you the total, right? So this is the way we, we, could, we can solve the problem without using the REST operator. But to me, that, that looks very weird, very weird, very weird. And the reason is uh, because we, we, we are mixing things. So we are mixing, so arguments is a very old thing. But array dot from is a very new thing. So we're mixing like all the strategy, new strategy, right? Because of that, uh, now uh, we got the uh, rest operator. So when we talk about the rest operator, is these three dots that come um, as a prefix of any variable, right? 
So then we can do that. We can do scores, and then we are telling A. I don't know how many arguments this faction would receive, but then what I know is that I want to gather them all into an array. So in other words, REST operator can work in two different and kind of opposite ways. So the, the first way the REST operator works is as a gather, right? So you pass a comma separated list of arguments and the REST operator gathers them into a single variable, which is an array. As this is an array, I can do reduce, I can do map, I can do everything I want, right? And it still works. So that's the same thing, but it's easier, right? It's more elegant. You don't need to access arguments, which is a weird thing. You don't need to use array.from to transform something like an array into a proper array. So this is more readable, right? So you are expressing uh, your algorithm in a more readable way, right? And also, this has another advantage. It's not just about gathering algorithms. Let me go back to the previous example with arguments, which still works, but that's okay if in this particular case, all the arguments that we are passing are numbers. But what if we want to do something different? What if we want to say, if we want to add uh, the name of someone, so this is going to be Norbert, right? And then we want to do here, so let total score equals, right? So how can we, you know, this is not going to work, right? Because I want to do something like that. I want to display eventually return the score for Norbert is whatever, right? This is even more complicated. Because at this stage of the journey, total score, this, this won't work, right? Because what's the first value that this function will receive? Three. Correct, right? So we need to probably splice the first value. You need, still, we could do it. We've been doing that for years, but this is a pain in the ass. So fortunately, now, with the REST operator, let me go back to display scores, right? So if we got that scores.reduce, correct, correct. So now we can mix that a bit. So we can do username, comma, and then the second argument. This is very sexy, it's very powerful, right? Because then we are telling, hey, the first argument we are passing will be saved into the username. And then the rest, that what is called rest operator, save it into a variable, right? Because of that, now I can interpolate that, as you already know. And I got it. Any question? No, I have a question, but later. Does that make any sense? Yeah. yeah. Right? So REST operators are very powerful while gathering, right? But then, we said that REST operator has two approaches, gathering, and then the, the opposite to gather is spread. spread, correct. So it can work on the other way around. And also I'm going to mention something that Albert just mentioned before, right? So you know that uh, with uh, the way to get the max value, and this is something that, uh, that Albert showed already. So you can do math.max. So you can pass a comma separated list of values, right? You can do that. So that will return, even though that doesn't make sense, but that will return uh, seven, right? Exactly, right? So we could have a problem on the other way around. What happened if instead of a comma separated list of values, we are passing an array, right? So if we are passing an array, Scores is already an array, so I don't need to gather anything because this is an array of one, two, three, five elements, right? I, I, I cannot do that. What will this return? Yes. Yeah, so it's trying to. This, we're trying to do something dodgy. We're trying to yeah. do max. So this will. I'm not sure if this will return an error or not a number, but definitely not what I'm looking for. Not a number, exactly. So we're trying to get the max of an array. That doesn't make sense. Max works with numbers. 
but here is where we can do the process on the other way around, right? So when the variable is an array, we can spread that into a comma separated list of arguments. That's why if we add dot, 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 right, that should actually work and that should return what? 91. 91, exactly. Right? This is very powerful. Mm. On the other way around, remember, the REST operator, when it takes a comma separated list of arguments, it, it's more powerful than that, right? So it, we, listen, with the REST operator, we can do lots of many different weird things. But the, the, the fundamentals of the REST operator is, when it takes a comma separated list of arguments, it gathers them all into a single array. And on the other way around, when it takes an array, it spreads them into a comma separated list of arguments. So depending on what you need to do, if your function requests an array, then you can use it. If your function requests a comma separate list of arguments, you can use it as well, right? It gives you this flexibility. Any question? Huh? So, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't want to make it more, uh, more complicated than that. Uh, yeah, so... so Again, we, we can use the, this operator in many multiple ways, uh, but I'm not going to be that far. But now, on top of the technical aspect of this REST operator, yeah, we, we can start a discussion about how readable sometimes the REST operator is. So the REST operator is one of the most powerful and new techniques introduced in modern JavaScript. But sometimes it goes against readability, right? And, and the thing is this, is, this is a very hot discussion. For instance, it's like regular expression, right? Is a, re is a regular expression a good or a bad thing? Well, I don't know. Technically speaking, it's really good, definitely. But if no one is able to understand your code, is it then a good thing or not? It depends, right? It depends on your audience. If you are working with people that understand regular expressions, that's awesome. If you are working with people who have no idea about regex, it's maybe not the best thing, right? So it's pretty much the same thing applies to regex, sorry, to, to REST operators. And the reason why I'm talk, talking about that is because I would like to show you an example. So one of the uh, expertise that we did some time ago, right, I was surprised because one of my colleagues, he made up a very clever, extremely clever solution to one of the tests, right? And I know it's going to be hard to read because of the resolution, but... Is this on the advanced? This is the advanced, yes. So one of the questions, which I know I, it's, it's hard to read and even to understand. So you receive uh, two strings, right? And then you had to take uh, something like, you, you need a new string, shortest string from A to Z. And then if uh, of the charts that show up in both the strings, right? And if they show more than once, just return once. So A, is A in both sides? Yes, then put it here. Is R in both sides? Yes, but then we need to sort it, right? So, I mean, again, I'm not going to solve that now, but we need to do a few things, right? So this was what I did. That's uh, what you did. That's what I did, right? But then this guy managed to solve the problem in one line. Did you feel embarrassed? <laughs> no, no. I don't. So the thing is, it's definitely extremely clever. Wow. That's it, right? So it's clever. I'm not against that. But then we can discuss <laughs> if this is an appropriate solution or not. Again, I don't necessarily think that's wrong. I, I really appreciate that, that, that approach, right? Um, so again, the message here is you see the things that you can do with a spread operator. You can do insane things. Really good. But also be careful. Because if you are really good managing a spread operator, but your environment is not that fluent with it, you may have problems. You'll have to maintain that code forever because no one else will touch that line, right? Mm. Any question? This spread operator is ECMAScript six, six or seven? I think it's six, but I may be wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very, it's recent. It's yeah, it's definitely recent. Yeah. Cool, guys. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, no, I mean, it's, it's a bunch of new techniques, right? I'm not just talk, thinking about the rest operator, but that's the first thing you see, right? So, yeah. Uh, 
Any question? So no. Why, why yeah. I'm not going to explain his solution, right? I'm not going to explain it. I just want to let you know that definitely with a spread operator, you can do lots of things, right? He created a new, in the first line, so spread operator new. Yeah, 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 but, but that's, that's, that's new, mm -hmm, whatever, right? And you know the funny thing? The thing is, his solution was incredible, but he got a penalty because of uh, uh, submitting a commented line, right? That's the funny thing, right? So he did the, mo he did the most complicated thing, but he got a penalty, no, right? Okay, you see it, uh, <laughs> but now we can... Uh, ah, no, you did this for to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. well, again, if no, I'm not going to explain that. That's not the goal of the no, session. I, I thought maybe he had some explanation. No, 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 no. So he did, okay, I can do it that way, but then I'm going to make it even better doing something else, right? Anyway, whatever. That was it for today, guys. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.